Shotgun. Llama. Hey everyone, what's going on? Here we are at Shotgun Llama, and today I'm going to try to show you how you can play console games on your PC. Or Mac, or Linux, or desktop computer. Or laptop computer. Computer, in general. Just computer. Not on the console. So, for this tutorial, I'll be showing you, in particular, a Pokemon game on Game Boy Advance, let's say. So I'm going to open up my folder here, no cache GPA, that's what I'm going to use for this. Find a game, I have a bunch on here. Let's go, uh, have them all in here. Let's say I want to play Pokemon Emerald. That is one of my favorite games, so I go to the emulator. I'm going to use no cache GPA, like I just said. Open it up. It'll ask me to bring up a uh, ROM. So I'm going to navigate to the folder with the ROM, load it up, and it stopped working. Okay. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, let me try a different emulator. I'll use Visual Boy Advance instead. So I go to the folder. There we go. That works much better. So as you can see, I got the game here. I can put in cheats like Game Shark and uh, Code Genie, I think it's called. I don't really use uh, anything other than Game Shark or Action Noob. If I would say want to play Pokemon Emerald, I would need the ROM, which is the game file basically. It stands for read-only memory if I'm not mistaken. So here, Pokemon Emerald.gba, and I need an emulator, Visual Boy Advance in my case. Now the emulator basically emulates the system on your, on your system, so it allows you to basically use the system you're talking about on your computer. In this case, it's the Game Boy Advance emulator, and the ROM is the game that it plays. Now I'm going to get up a website. Let's uh, think of an, let's just say, if you wanted to find an emulator for Game Boy Advance, have a GBA emulator, you'll get a bunch of results, and just choose whichever one you want, download it, install it, I mean, the instructions vary for each emulator, and then if you want ROM, you can go to say, emuparadise.com for example, it's emuparadise.me, that's why it happened, so coolrotten.com, and you can just type in here, any game you want, I don't know, let's say, Pokemon Platinum, I mean, it's technically Nintendo, Yes, not Game Boy Advance, but still. You see, it's here. Pokemon Platinum Japan, Hack, and the actual Pokemon Platinum. Oh, I think that one was a Pokemon Light Platinum. Yeah, that's why it's Hack. But this one is Pokemon Platinum. It's just the normal Pokemon Platinum. Removed due to copyrights. Okay. So this one was removed due to copyrights. So you'd have to find it somewhere else, or you'd have to uh, rip it legally, because downloading ROMs can be illegal. Just a warning. I'll put that in the description. I'll also have some links in the description for you to find things. But then you just go to wherever you installed it, open up your emulator, and let's say I want to do a Nintendo emulator. No, I can't because I don't want to bother with Nintendo. Okay, my computer is really not a gaming computer. It is just a little laptop, 8 gigabytes of RAM, Intel i3 processor, I think, an Intel HD graphics card, nothing great. But it can emulate up to like 5th generation gaming consoles perfectly, and it can emulate 6th gen consoles, kind of iffy, but usually okay. Once you get a 7th and 8th gen consoles, and by the way, 7th gen is a PS3, Xbox 360, and the Wii. 8th is a PS4, and Xbox One, Wii U. It's not really able to do that, but 6th <clears throat> gen, which is PS2, GameCube, and Xbox, okay. 5th, um, usually okay. 5th gen, Nintendo 64, original PlayStation, um, I haven't actually tried Sega Dreamcast or Saturn because emulators for those are a little rare, but it does that all fine, so... You don't need a very special computer to do any of it.